Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide, and this one we are getting everything possible in We Should Talk. A modern and absolutely brilliant take on the visual novel series which is unlike any other I've played. Now it was developed by Insatiable Cycle, published by Whitethorn Digital, and is available to you for just £5.79. Now, just before we begin, if you would love to hit that subscribe button, I would love to keep on bringing you these 100% achievement guides. Now, the majority of the achievements and trophies require us basically to grab all nine endings with the other miscellaneous ones being unlocked along the way, providing that you follow my guide to a T. So I haven't rushed through it at all, I'll be telling you exactly what you need to choose to get every single ending. So that's it then, apart from, while recording, the Was I Good Enough achievement was glitched, but it has been fixed by the time I went to voice record it, so instead of messing up ending 3 for you, we will go through the whole game and then do that achievement at the very, very end. So each playthrough will take around 15 minutes or so, maybe a little less, but overall we should get everything done and get the full 1000 in around 2 hours or so. So then, with that being said, let us begin. So, and just before we press play, like I said, go down to options and choose the text speed to go very fast. And, well, that makes it go a little bit faster, which will help us lovely. And the way it's done, it's not like your normal uh, visual novel. You'll have, after this one here, ch uh, choose, nope, I'm okay, ready to order though. And for the majority of the game, you'll have like three options to choose, as you'll see. So there you go then, so you get to choose sort of one drink, then another option, then another option. So it's it's very easy, so like I said, we go in, you can have a look through everything, but we're not going to be mess messing about. So the first one, Grenadine on the rocks, in five tiny shot glasses, press the A button, that sort of goes to enter, and then press the A button again to say, well, to basically say whatever you want to say. Obviously you can do what you want, but if you want to get the achievements done in the shortest possible time, obviously it's just best to follow exactly what I do, and like you say, we'll be doing it in two hours. So yes, as soon as I tell you what to pick, or you're happy with your answer, press the A button, press the A button again, and that's it then, and we'll just be going through this. But the story is absolutely fantastic. We get nine different endings about our relationship with our girlfriend Sam, so click She Is Working right here. And honestly, it's not so rushed that you don't sort of have to skip through it. It's just, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. And the endings are fantastic as well. So again, just click her uh, life can be rough right here. So for this next one, choose talk to my friend over there. And it's very interesting because even if you sort of mess up one word, it can completely change the whole story. Therefore, you could potentially miss an ending. So it's it's really, you know, it's brilliant like that. But anyway, this is the first point where our girlfriend Sam texts us then. And she's basically, she's cooked our favourite din din. Uh, say, I'm actually at the bar tonight. Make sure to say those, uh, that little sentence right there. And anyone who says Din Din is just an automatic winner in my book. I It just makes me laugh so much. But anyway, let, click Sorry, Let's Hang Later. And again, keywords and key phrases coming up here. So now choose just ordered, Steph asked about you. So the more we progress through the game, we see that Sam has extreme issues of her own with absolutely everything. And again, I think it's just such a brilliant modern take on it. So here choose, you're really important to me too. And that's what I love about this visual novel game. Again, everything's just so modernized. There's loads of different problems, although it's mainly sort of relationship stuff. Um, <laughs> but anyway, now choose, I'd like to hear about your childhood for the next one. Sadly to say, Sam is a bit messed up here, but for our next option, choose 
They treated you like crap, but I'm glad you're out of there. Now, personally, going to the gym is my kind of date, but um, as we're just trying to get all the endings, for the next one, choose uh, the gym. I haven't been to a gym in a while. Now choose, I see what you're trying to do, but still, I'm not gonna lag behind while you get buff. And that will unlock the Palm Some Iron With Me Baby achievement with included Arnie voice. Fantastico. Sort of. Anyway, so she's like, burb, love you, but burb. I'm gonna burb. And now we're going to meet Dante, who you don't know who he is just yet. But what we're gonna say is, Dante, what are you doing here? And you think, oh, is he just a friend? Is he a family friend or something at this point? Um, well, for the next one then, choose, I wasn't expecting to see you either. So there you go. Again, sometimes it's already uh, waiting for you there, the answer. Other times, obviously, you've got to move it. And now choose, you had different needs. And this is where you're like, bruh, we were a couple? And now he's like, hmm, girl, I want to get in your pants again. Anyway, go down to, I'm down to go down this road and relive our past. Which is just, that's disgusting, mate. You got a missus in the house cooking you noodle dindins and you're going to mess around with your ex. Disgusting! Anyway, that is, um, so that's our little conversation <laughs> with Dante Dunn, you dirty, dirty dog. And now Sam's like, yo, bro, cutie hun, what's up? And then just choose drinking with Dante. That'll unlock us the what achievement. So when the achievement symbol and logo finally <laughs> goes away, <laughs> um, choose Dante is here for me. Which is just what everybody's partner wants to hear when they're texting them, when their boyfriend or girlfriend, significant others in their club, talking to their ex. It's exactly what you want, eh? Um, now choose, don't worry about it, he's harmless. Next, choose, the gig is this really cool indie play. Choose, I don't know, it may be lots of fun, or IDK, it may be lots of fun. But what we seem to be getting from our main character is, we're not very empathetic, are we? We're not a very nice guy. We're a bit of a douchebag, actually, to be fair. Uh, now choose, I'm sorry, you can talk now. For once, you know, be the nice guy for a change, eh? Now choose, I don't care about your work, so we're going straight back into dick mode. And here comes my favourite character, honestly, throughout the whole game. <laughs> Look at him! Daddy Bay K. That's just awesome. But choose not in this life. Looks like you got stood up. Jimmy, <laughs> too hot to handle. Daddy Bay K. Golden. Th those are both golden, golden names. So well done to whoever came up with them. <laughs> They're bloody brilliant. Anyway, for the next one, choose you should try a different app. Sorry, my I always got stood up as well. So, yeah, you just get used to it, I suppose. 
Um, <laughs> Le Croy. It's like dating can feel demeaning in those apps. Now choose. It's like dating can feel demeaning in those apps. Now choose, what about your friends, Daddy Baker? I'd never call him Jimmy ever again, to be honest. If I knew his name was Daddy Baker, that's it. That would be it forever. Now choose, maybe we could be friends, and that will unlock the, I'll hold you to that achievement. So maybe we could be friends, achievement unlock, flying, 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 and look how happy he is. He's a, you just want to pick him up and shove him in your pocket like a little Paris Hilton dog or something, don't know. Like cute get. Anyway, now we're sort of back to Sam. We're a bit like me. But now she's going to ask, do we drink with strangers? Choose it. Yeah, I drink with strangers. Now pick often. I get a bit of flirty people. So as you can tell, we're trying to be a dick for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe he's just had enough now, our main character. It's just a shame, really, isn't it? And now choose, I always flirt back. Come on, man. That's, the, that's not how to impress your missus, really, is it? But we are getting the worst and crappiest endings out the way first, and it only gets better, thank God. Now choose, I don't want to, like a petulant, spoiled child. I don't want to. Next up then, choose being at the bar is important to me. And that will actually unlock us the drunk cuties achievement. Which, I mean, I don't know if the drunk cutie is just us ourselves or Dante, who you want to get back in his pants. I don't know who the cutie is, but anyway, that will unlock eventually. That might take its time now and again. Now choose, are you always obsessing over what I'm doing when the achievement goes away? Now choose, you should just let go of yourself. So you can probably see where this is going right now. Naughty man, dumping your missus over text in a bar. Yep. So now choose, whatever, so let that mindset hurt you. Ooh, ouch. Now choose, maybe we should deal with this. Maybe we should deal with this. Next is, do you care about what our direction is? So this next one is a little bit harsh. I've been thinking that I don't think you can give me what I want out of a relationship. So, I've been thinking that I don't think you can give me what I want out of a relationship. And that is just... I mean, what, what do you want? For it to come out and get pissed every night? Or You just don't try hard enough is the next one. And that will unlock the dark and stormy achievement for us. Because, well, at the end of the day, we're a bit of a douche in this one. It's the worst ending of the game. It's the worst. And next, it's why even bother being your partner feels so constricting when the achievement goes away. Uh, so why even bother being your partner feels so constricting. Next is this doesn't feel fun anymore, so I need to move on. Man, man oh man. And now we've got a sort of straight shooter down. Simply, I don't love you anymore. Ah, the words every woman wants to hear. Or every man, anyone wants to hear. I don't love you anymore. And then choose, we'll, both, we'll be both better off. Good luck moving on. 
and then the final one will be by and that will get us the where did end achievement and also a very sort of neat little wrap up about what happens after this whole thing and i tell you what just it, it, it's, it's like literally about 10 15 seconds but honestly it's like a neat little wrap up and a neat little package just ties everything off just tells you what happens afterwards and it is brilliant i this was such such a good touch absolutely awesome so you ended on really bad terms broke a heart basically that's it you two are out she hates you you don't like her And that's literally it. It's literally just a few lines of text about what happened. And again, I just think it's such a great idea, which is why I really, really enjoyed this game. Now, you can't skip the credits, but the credits are literally about 10 seconds long, if that anyway. And then, well, just like anything in work, now we go in straight back into it. We've done our first ending. Now we go straight back into it. You know, like if you're washing dogs all day, next, next one, next one. You're building units in a factory, right, done the first one. Onto the next one, or some kind of, you know, smart-ass analogy of some sort. So, there we go. We got our first ending done. Uh, again, go into options before we start. Click the text speed to fast, and then go back, and now we can press play, and now we can go for ending number two. And again, some of the words will be different, so, you know, obviously, just make sure to keep paying attention. So, the first one is, nope, I'm okay, ready to order, though, again... And this time we're going to get a little flirty with Steph behind the bar right now. So it's Grenadine on the rocks with a kiss. <laughs> Girl! Now choose, I'd like to see what more than a kiss means to you. And he thinks Steph's going to get hot and heavy and horny. And then Steph's just like, well, maybe we'll try this again later. It's a bit too uh, steamy for bar conversation, which it's not. It's not. It's perfect for bar conversation. Perfect. But then she's just like, oh, you know what? That was really sexy, but don't worry. Let's move on. Now choose she is working, which you kind of, any boner you add is just gone. It's gone all flop now. And then now choose Sam's life can be rough. Back into the depressing talk now, so, in fact, the main character's penis has probably gone up inside itself by now. Anyway, next we're going to be choosing... Ooh. So next we're going to be choosing, have a drink with my friend over there. So again, just little differences, but they make all the difference when it comes to getting the certain endings. And then she tells me she wants to get on him anyway. When I could she just could have got on me. Man... Life's unfair, right? Oh, sorry, we've got our favourite noodle din din coming up. So anyway, there we go, Sam again then. Nothing changes, it's all repetitive by the way. Now choose, I'm actually out drinking right now. So yeah, nothing it changes in the story. All the characters are exactly the same. All the same thing happened. Like I said, it is just the words that we'll be choosing which will be different. Now choose, sorry, let's hang later. Next up, choose Got My Drink, the bartender sends her regards. So we've been a bit cold towards Steph, probably because she just rejected us for Dante, even though we want to find out what more than a kiss means to her. But yeah, anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm not one to hold a grudge. Now choose Damn Sam, you're important to me too. Next up, choose I'd like to hear about your parents, even though I assume if you've been together a while, she probably would have told you at some point anyway, but anyway, that's what we got to choose, I'd like to hear about your parents, and then, you know, she's going to basically be unhappy because her parents are dicks. Now choose your parents did a number on you, but you deserve better. Now she's like, yeah, I'm depressed. Oh, but anyway, let's move on to the gym. 
Uh, now choose, hmm, I'm not a big fan of sweating around strangers. Next up, choose Sick Burn, babe. You know I'm not falling for your reverse psychology. Is it only me that gets cringed out by the word babe? I just don't like calling anyone babe. I don't know why. And anyway, and now we got Sam who's feeling a bit horny. So, I mean, I mean, you know, the main character's boner radar is going off all over the place at the minute. Anyway, when it comes to it, then choose I'll sneak in eventually to snuggle. And this is where the achievement unlocks the I'm feeling snuggly achievement. So, I'll sneak in eventually to snuggle. This is snuggle, such a gay word for it though, isn't it? I'll eventually sneak in to smash. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to make us both squeal like a pig. I'm going to make us both squeal like a pig. That's dirty talk, my friend. That is bang on dirty talk. I could get out the whipped cream. Now choose... I like where this is going. And then she's just like, oh, look, be right back. I'm sorry, you've got a boner. I'm going to get the shower head. Oh, nice one. Thanks for that. Just leave me in the lurch. But this is where Dante appears again. And we're like, oh, hey, bro. Now we know who Dante is. I'm not spoiling it for you. Choose Dante. How long have you been in NYC? Now for an, a, a hilariously awesome insult, I wasn't expecting to see a Michael B. Jordan wannabe. <laughs> I thought the writers of this game, spot on. Well done to all the writers in this game. Fantastic. Um, now choose I made a bunch of mistakes. Not you, not we. I made a bunch of dumb mistakes. Next up then, choose Sam is actually kind of a mess. Harsh. And lastly, choose her mess is a bit much. Her mess is a bit much. I know you want to be the nice guy, but it's imperative. We got to do. We, we've got to be a jerk to get these first couple of endings out the way. I, I promise these endings get way nicer <laughs> the more we get to ending number nine. So Danny's like, right, see you later. I'll check that ass out later. Now Sam's going to text us, text us. Now choose talking to my ex. Be blunt, please. So Sam will say, uh, what? And we'll say, Dante is here for a gig. That's all, nothing to it. I don't want his penis in my mouth or anything. Now choose, the, the gig is this really cool show, which doesn't really answer a question, but the gig is this really cool show is what we should be telling her anyway. Now choose, yeah! His art is a total joke. And this is where the conversation differs from the first ending. So now choose, it sounds like that might be a good time. As she's now pressured into having... Uh, Co-workers over for drinks. That will unlock the I'm such a trash monster achievement, by the way. And now choose, we could get your shit together and tidy up. But this is what I mean. Little different words will always come out with different conversations. So, like I said, it's imperative that you be following what I'm doing. And now choose, why is it weird having them around? Now we're being a bit nicer. Choose, of course I can tidy up everything. That's nice of us for once.
Lastly, for Sam Chu's I'm sorry, let's discuss it later. So, we've gone right back into jerkdom right now. But now our favourite little character's coming up, Daddy Baker. Woo! So for poor old Jimmy, choose sorry Jimmy, but I think you got stood up. And he, he can't be sad again. Now choose, you should try some of your co-workers. Which he's not happy with, and basically we're going to get into an argument with sad old Jim as well. Um, now choose, do you feel like you don't belong? Do you feel like you don't belong? So now we're just assuming, we're just, we're, we're being a bit of a knob again, to be honest, in this ending, to other people this time. Well, actually to everyone. Uh, now choose, I doubt they can handle all that responsibility. I doubt they can handle all that responsibility. So we just went and balls that up with Jim, so there's no way he's getting on us now, dirty git. Anyway, after that, Sam's going to ignore you. Now choose, I sometimes chat with folk. Now choose, often I deal with attention. This is the, um, often I deal with attention, and this is where the more paranoid Sam gets as the night goes on right here. Now choose, I always ignore it. I always ignore it. Next we'll choose, unwinding like this is not the best sometimes. But I knew Dante was here tonight, so that's why I came wink wink. But you don't know that. Uh, <laughs> so next up, you shouldn't be worried about what I'm doing. That'll be the next one. So you shouldn't be worried about what I'm doing. So now choose, once again, you have to let go of yourself. As opposed to letting yourself go when you get to, when you end up being like 30 stone or something. Yep, sorry, you see me just change that then, I almost messed that one up. But it is, you have to let go of yourself. And then the next one is, don't let worry come between us. Don't let worry come between us and that would unlock the do you ever think about the future achievement. So don't let worry come between us. Right, so when the achievement goes away then, choose, I kind of prefer to just go with the flow. What about you? So I kind of prefer to just go with the flow, what about you? And sorry if I do repeat myself uh, two or three times, you know, it's best to be safe than sorry, isn't it? So you don't mess it up and have to do it all over again. Uh, next one, choose, I don't care that we are in a different place. I don't care that we are in a different place. Now choose, I want to deal with this. Next up is, do you care about what we need to do to keep going forward? So do you care about what we need to do to keep going forward? And random thought, wouldn't it be awesome if Morgan Freeman were to just voice record a whole visual novel for us, something like this? <laughs> How amazing would that be? I don't know why that's in my head right now, but anyway. So now choose, I've been thinking that we need to work on a few things. Now choose, I just need more time to grow. I just need more time to grow. That will unlock the playing with fire achievement. 
And we are basically coming up to the end of the um, second ending. But next, what we'll choose is the getaway is where I get to relieve stress. When the achievement goes away right here, the getaway is where I get to relieve stress. And then for the very, very final one, no need to fix what isn't broken. I think it should just be one option, which is, yeah, well, one option. No need to fix what isn't broken. And that is the end of the second one. And this is the most bizarre and unexpected ending. I'm going to leave you to this one a minute, because I didn't expect this at all. I was a bit gutted. I mean, holy crap, man, what was, <laughs> what was that about? So, we were a dick, then they wanted to both get on Steph, which, to be honest, I think Steph wanted a bit of Dante more than she wanted a bit of Daddy Bake here, but that's okay. And I thought Jimmy was there to meet men, anyway. Yeah, so that was a really bizarre ending. A little accident, and the, the bar burnt down. Jesus Christ, what the hell, monkey balls. <laughs> so, anyway, that's ending two out of nine, so... Yeah, like I said, it's about 12 to 15 minutes and ending now. So again, once we get into it then, straight to the options, tech speed fast, and we go again. Go again, go again, go again. And this is ending three with, at the time of recording, the glitched achievement was like good enough. Uh, just choose nope, I'm okay, ready to order though right here. So, you know, follow me along on this path to get ending number three. Then, as I said, we will get the was I good enough achievement later on. And... For this one, choose Grenadine on the rocks in five tiny shot glasses again. Now, I like to keep you on your toes. Next, choose She is Working again. Now choose Sam's life can be rough. To be honest, this first bit is always kind of predictable and very samey, but it's when we get into the juiciness with Dante and Sam a bit later on. That's when all the juicy steakiness starts to happen. Anyway, for the next dialogue option, talk, uh, talk to my friend over there. So we're going to be buttering Sam up a bit, so choose, oh damn, I'm at the bar tonight. Oh damn, I'm at the bar tonight. So for this one, we're trying to tell her things that she really wants to hear. You know, so we're not really into it, but we are at the same time. So now choose, don't worry, we can slurp nudes another time. Next up then, choose Just Ordered, Steph Asked About You. Very important to sort of get the names and everything completely right here to get the correct ending, of course, as I've said. <laughs> and next up, choose Damn Sam, you're important to me too. Because you're a nice guy. Next up, I'd like to hear about your family. Even though, again, if you've been together for a while, surely you would have heard about them by now, but anyway. That's none of my business. Now choose, your parents did a number on you, but you deserve better.
And we're still being nice with this one. Oh, the gym. I haven't been to a gym in a while. Still being a lovely guy at the minute, for once. <laughs> Next up then, choose... Sick burn, babe. You know I'm not falling for your reverse psychology. Right, so now we're going to be speaking to Dante. Now, there's a dialogue option which, for some reason at the time of recording, happened automatically, which is the reason we get this ending instead of the was I not good enough achievement. We didn't have a choice. But I'll tell you exactly where uh, the choice is and what the dialogue option was to choose. So first choose uh, Dante. What are you doing back in town? And then when the next one comes up, choose Damn, your tastes are weird. So Damn, your tastes are weird. Now, normally at the time of recording, the next dialogue option happened automatically, but now you, you should have a choice. So to get this end in and follow exactly what I'm doing, you have to choose I bet your friends didn't see that coming. So when you get that dialogue option, I bet your friends didn't see that coming. And then for this one now, choose we just sort of drifted away. So hopefully I managed to just get all of that in, in there for you. I don't know why they did it, but it has been sorted now. So uh, choose Sam is something special. And well, that's it for Dante then. So yes, hopefully I managed to explain and that you got what I meant as it, you know, could have potentially been confusing to what's happening on your screen and what was happening on mine. But... And as I said, we'll come back to the last achievement later on. So for this one then, choose talking to an old friend. So that doesn't arouse as much suspicion, eh? Hmm. Also, in the conversation with Dante, if you had chosen, I bet your family didn't see that coming, this would have been completely different and it would have messed up your ending as well. So now choose, he's not really something I think about often. So, yeah, so that's why I've just left it as this, telling you to sort of follow me, because this bit would have been completely different for you, and uh, you might not have got the same particular ending I did. Uh, anyway, now choose... Do you think you should feel bad about that experience? And then choose... How did you react to that? And then we get an achievement called I said some really mean things. So we we're back off and we're back into jerk off territory now. And I'm saying that with both my thumbs up, even though you can't see me right now. But anyway. So next <laughs> next things next. It must be hard to deal with that when the achievement goes away. There it is. So it must be hard to deal with that. She would like a conversation, but we are going to say, of course, let's table it for now, though. Of course, let's table it for now, though. So I'd love to talk to you, but I'm not really interested. So off your piss. Sorry, love. Yeah, very nice of me. Now we've got our favorite character in the whole game, Jimmy, a.k.a. Daddy Baker. <laughs> Look at his little face. It just creases me every time. Anyway, now choose, depends on who you ask, but I think you've got the wrong person. And uh, now we're going to be a bit of a jerk to Jimmy, so choose, excuse me, that's inappropriate. Even though if anyone came up to me in a club and told me I'd look good, hey, I'd, I'd, I'd take that. I don't get it very often. Uh, <laughs> now choose, I think you should leave. Not interested at all in that cute little daddy bake here. And then, just bluntly, okay, fuck off. <laughs> just put it as blunt as you can, and then we'll be going <laughs> back to texting Sam. Sometimes that's all it takes. Unless you're like a woman in a club and you pretend to be a lesbian with your friend to get rid of the, uh, you know, stinky guy. Hey, many women have done that. Next, choose, yeah, I chat with folks. Sorry, I'm getting off track now, getting off track. Back to it. Next one, choose, sometimes... I get a bit of flirty people. Sometimes I get a bit of flirty people. Now choose, I always ignore it, obviously, because I'm such a stand-up guy.
So we are telling her things that she wants to hear, our beloved Sam, but next, choose being at the bar is important to me. Yep, yeah, so she's just, um, you know, she's, she's happy enough, I suppose, with this one. Now choose, you shouldn't be worried about cuties. So you shouldn't be worried about cuties. Like me. Next up, choose, I wish you'd trust me. If you notice, these conversations with Sam sort of go from 0 to 100 and back to 0 real quick. They go absolutely bloody everywhere. Anyway, next up, choose, don't let worry come between us. Next, choose, we need to talk. We need to talk. In a crappy New York accent, if you want. Then choose, have you thought about where we are going right now? So, have you thought about where we are going right now? And then choose, I've been thinking that. I don't know what it is, but our relationship is missing something. So, I've been thinking that. I decay what it is, but our relationship is missing something. And then we've only got two left, and the next one is you just need to communicate better. Not we, you, because you're a jerk apparently, Sam. <laughs> Even though she seems lovely, but there we go. This will unlock us the salty dog achievement, and then for the very final one, you will be choosing anything you want, babe. Anything you want, babe. Anything you want, babe. To be honest, that is such a goddamn horrible ending. That's... Actually, I, I like... This is the worst ending. Because at least with the first ending, you just leave and never see each other again. But she's emotionally dependent on you, and you're just like, Yeah, well, I've got Dante's penis in my mouth on the side, so I don't really care. Man! Jerk. Goddamn jerk. So anyway, that is the third ending. Again, hopefully you would have followed exactly what I did there, even with the whole... A uh, little Dante situation there with the um, glitched achievement, and you would have got that perfectly fine. Now we can move on to the fourth ending. I do promise these endings do get better. The guys at Insatiable Cycle and Whitethorn Digital do have a heart, honestly. Even though it might not seem like it right now, they do. So here we go again then, back down to options, tech speed to fast, and then we just go again. And the, f and the first uh, answer is always the same. Nope, I'm okay. Ready to order, though. And the drink is exactly the same as well. Grenadine on the rocks in five tiny shot glasses. You goddamn pisshead. And then it's the same again. I like to keep you on your toes or your sweaty toes, whatever it's like working in a bar. I've never worked in a bar, so I couldn't tell you. And then for the next one, again, choose she is working. Again, th this first bit just got... Sadly, it did kind of get a little bit boring because there was nothing... Sam's life can be rough again, by the way. But yeah, just because it was mostly the same answer only now and again would it change and you sort of just want to get to be speaking of Sam and Dante into that bit. But anyway, it is what it is. It's still very enjoyable. Still thoroughly enjoyed this game. Now choose talk to my friend over there. And she doesn't know that you you uh, <laughs> used to be little buddies. Yeah, little buddies. 
Right, so now Sam's texting us, choose, I'm actually at the bar tonight. Next up, choose, don't worry, we'll eat together later. So, we're already quite cold towards Sam. That's nice, isn't it? Next up, choose just ordered. Steph asked ugh, asked about you. Steph asked about you. There we go. Got there eventually. Next up, choose damn Sam, you're important to me too. Or just damn Sam, you're important to me too. Now choose, I don't know much about your family. I don't know much about your family. I really wish I just didn't do that. Anyway, moving on very quickly. Your parents did a number on you, but you deserve better. <laughs> did I really just sing in a video? Yes, I did. Right, so anyway, now she's going to ask about the gym again. And like I said, for me personally, it's a bloody good date, but for someone who's in a bar all the time, probably not as much. Now choose, hmm, I'm not a big fan of sweating around strangers. Although, I mean, if you're like in an orgy or something, you're still sweating around strangers at, you know, swingers clubs and stuff. And I bet he'd enjoy that, wouldn't he? So, what's the difference? <laughs> anyway, choose, sick burn, babe, you know I'm not falling for your reverse psychology. Right there, it was already up for us. And now we'll just speak to Big Dante again. So say, Dante, what are you doing here? Now choose, I wasn't expecting to see you either, which is already up for us there. Now choose, you had different needs. You wanted the man with the bigger penis, didn't you, Dante? I'm sorry I couldn't give that to you. Okay, not me personally, I mean our main character. <laughs> Obviously. Right, and then choose... I'm down to play around for a good thrill. Well, 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 that was pretty boring until the very end. I'm down to play around for a good thrill. You son of a bitch. Ah, man, poor Sam. Wouldn't you feel guilty? Personally, I'd feel bloody guilty if I had my missus texting me and... Anyway, choose here, talking to Dante. Yeah, if I had an ex come up to me like, oh yeah, let's play around for a good thrill. Man, nah, nah, I couldn't. I'm a man of principle and integrita. Um, what? She says. But all you gotta do is tell her he's here for a gig. Now choose, he's starring in an obscure show. Then pick, lol, okay, I'm sure it's lots of fun. Which we all know it's not, because he plays like a crayon or something, and I forget. So she starts pouring her heart out, she wants to chat, but what we're going to say is, of course, let's table it for now though. So again, I'm very interested in what you've got to say, but I don't actually want to listen to it right now. Yeah, <laughs> what a guy, what a stand-up guy. Now we're coming back to the favourite of the whole game, Daddy Baker. And still too hot to handle, it's just perfect. And Daddy Baker kills me. 
Depends on who you ask, but I think you've got the wrong person. Shoes? And then he's saying, let's swipe right, so say, ha, that's inappropriate. Ha, that's inappropriate. And now we're actually going to get a bit flirty with Big Jim here. Oh, nothing wrong with that kid, nothing wrong. Say, I think that sounds interesting. Ooh. So we're getting into a bit of a daddy bake. <laughs> uh, and then that is it. So for some reason, you don't keep chatting. You go, oh, that's hot. Let's do stuff. Nah, maybe later. Now choose, yeah, I chat with folks. Next, choose, sometimes I get a bit of attention. And then pick, usually I shoo them away, like a dog or a cat or something. <laughs> and then once again choose, being at the bar is important to me. Now I'm not sure if it's different on the PS4 or Xbox, but you might get another option and it says healthy is a weird way to put it, but it's not the best sometimes. But it didn't, that option didn't appear for me now. So the next one that appears, we'll be choosing, you shouldn't be worried about my nights out. But the one about healthy is a weird way to put it might appear, potentially if you're playing on the PS4, I'm not too sure yet. So sorry about the confusion there, but that's just in case that one pops up for you, which again, it didn't for me for whatever reason. But anyway, for the next one, you, you choose, you have to trust me. So there it is, you have to trust me. Now it's, try not to let that mindset come between us. Oh, this is where the real nitty-gritty relationship stuff starts to happen. Now choose, maybe we should get some things out in the air. So maybe we should get some things out in the air. Now choose, have you thought about what our direction is? The next one is a new one. Choose, you and I have been talking a lot and today's been a little weird, but overall I'm happy. So you and I have been talking a lot and today's been a little weird, but overall I'm happy. So that's one that we haven't done before yet. And then for the next one then, we will unlock an achievement with the caption of we just want to be okay. So answer her with we just want to be okay. And this is where the sex on the beach achievement will unlock. Then when the achievement finally just uh, goes away there, choose, I don't know if I think we have been doing a good job with this relationship. So IDK, if I think we have been doing a good job with this relationship. Two more to do now. Next is, I think it'll be better if we go our separate ways. So I think it'll be better if we go our separate ways. And then choose, I guess it means it wasn't meant to be. So, amazingly, this is actually kind of a sad ending, but actually kind of a happy ending as well. So, we they break up, we break up, but we do remain friends. So, at least there's some kind of happiness to come out of it from somewhere.
Okay, happiness, I meant sort of awkward happiness, so... But at least there's a little bit of happiness elsewhere. Although then again, if you both bring dates home, why didn't you just have like... You know, just have a big massive foursome or something? That might make you fall back in love. Hey, I am a relationship guru, can you not tell? <laughs> no, I'm not. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me, everyone. That stinks. So that's it then, that's ending number four then, so now we're going on to ending number five, so do the exact same thing we've been doing, straight to options, text speed to fast, play, and the very first option once again is nope, I'm okay, ready to order though. This time though, we'll be choosing grenadine on the rocks, with a kiss. We're here, we're getting Steph's steamy conversation back going again. Nice. So she's like, hmm, man, let's see what's in them pants then, bruh. And then what we're going to pick is, I'd like to see what more than a kiss means to you. <laughs> and then she goes, ah, oh, well, no, I can't. Can't get too turned on behind the bar. I suppose you got a point, got to keep it pro professional, I suppose. And then we're just back to um, boring conversation again, so back to she is working, and then for the next one, Sam's life can be rough. Next pick, have a drink with my friend over there, so we... Not talk to, have a drink with my friend over there. So we're getting a little bit uh, steamier now with everyone, by the looks of things. Back to texting Sam then. Choose, I'm actually out drinking right now. And then for the next one then, pick sorry, let's hang later. Next up, choose got my drink, the bartender sends her regards. So we're not even acknowledging Steph in this one, even though we just wanted to get a kiss off her. And shit started to get a little steamy. So again here, it's damn Sam, you're important to me too. Now, be a nice guy and say, I'd like to hear about your parents. That's nice for once, again. And once again then, it's your parents did a number on you, but you deserve better. Back to gym talk, and we go in, hmm, I'm not a big fan of sweating around strangers. But as I said in the last one, you'd happily go into a bloody orgy, and an all-male and all-female orgy, wouldn't you? But that's none of my business either. We all would like that. Um, <laughs> so next, choose <laughs> sick burn, babe. You know I'm not falling for your reverse psychology. And Sam's feeling the devil's horn, if you know what I mean. So choose, I'll sneak in eventually to snuggle. <coughs> wink, wink. <laughs> boink, boink. And that's exactly what he's going to make it do, actually. He, Because what we're going to say next is, I'm going to make us both squeal like a pig. Which is just the worst do dirty dog I've ever heard. Now pick, 
I could get out the whipped cream, which, you know, is kind of killing the mood, to be honest. Although whipped cream is goddamn delicious. But even at this point, she goes, right, BRB, off your fudge. I'd be slamming that drink down and I'd be running home, boner in hand and everything. But no, she's like, no, nah, piss off. And although he does fancy Dante, doesn't he? So, Dante, what are you doing back in town? Well, I suppose our main character's got a boner with every bugger in this uh, in this game with all four characters. Next, choose that sounds artsy fartsy. Again, not sure if it'll be automatic here, but just choose I bet your friends didn't see that come in. If the option is available for you, I'm not sure if they fixed it for absolutely every ending, but just choose that. I bet your friends didn't see that coming, and for this one, choose I made a bunch of dumb mistakes. And then choose Sam is actually kind of a mess. Harsh, mate. And then choose her mess is a bit much, so even harsher, mate. Now it's time to get Sam really paranoid by saying, talking with my ex. Like, you just don't do that. You, you just don't say that. <laughs> Although sometimes it's better to be upfront than than to lie. I eh, don't know. I, this is what I like about this game. It sort of raises a whole bunch of questions in the air of what would you do if sort of you were in this situation. Anyway, now choose he's here for a gig. And now it is, the gig is this really cool show. Now choose it. Yeah, his art is a total joke. Sam's jerky co-workers are coming over, so now we'll choose It Sounds Like That Might Be A Good Time. Obviously our main character here thinks it might be an orgy rather than just a couple of innocent drinks, but here we go. Um, now we choose We Could Get Your Shit Together and Tidy Up. So we could get your shit together and tidy up. Now choose Why Is It Weird Having Them Around? So we're being nice now, we'll choose, of course I can tidy up everything. Of course I can tidy up everything, that's what I'm here for. Apart from second Dante, uh, second Dante's penis now and again. Um, anyway. So she's going to now talk about work and we'll just say, I'm sorry, let's discuss it later. So again, you're sort of wanting to listen but you don't really care. And now we're going back to Daddy Bay Care over in Rejection Corner. And we're really going to be pissing Jimmy off, so choose Sorry Jimmy, but I think you got stood up, first of all. But from here on out, we are going to really anger him. So after this one, then choose... You should, you should try some of your co-workers. And this bit has such a real feel to it in terms of, you know, people want to be treated like a person. Not different or outcasted because of their sexuality or religion or whatever. In other words, no one should feel like they have to do anything extra to fit in. So choose, do you feel like you don't belong here? And people should be respected by the person that they are, not what they like or do, etc, etc. So now choose, I doubt they can handle all that responsibility. Which again, that's just an even bigger dickish thing to say.
So we're going back in with Sam now. She doesn't even give us a cutie. Damn, she's pissed, I think. Uh, choose, I sometimes chat with folks. Next pick, often I deal with attention. And now pick, I always ignore it. Because apparently we do after the way you just spoke to Big Jim. Next, choose unwinding like this is not the best sometimes. Unwinding like this is not the best sometimes. Next up then, choose you shouldn't be worried about what I'm doing. Which is just, uh, you know, gives her a reason to be paranoid in the first place, <laughs> to be fair. Now you choose, you have to let go of yourself. Don't let worry come between us. So even more serious conversations happening now, but we are going to pick, I kind of prefer to just go with the flow, what about you? Next pick, it's scary that you're thinking we might be doomed, which is hilariously ironic since all we've done is flirt with Dante, Jimmy and Steph throughout most of these endings so far. Now choose, we should talk more about that. And then pick, I want to deal with this. We're coming closer to the end now. Now choose, have you thought about how the relationship is doing? I've been thinking we need to work on a few things. So I've been thinking we need to work on a few things. Pick move coming up, you have to pick, you just need more time to grow. Not we, not I. You just need more time to grow, which again is a bit of a knobhead move, but there we go. But what it does is unlock us the achievement Manhattan, so it's all good. Not all's lost. Not all's lost there, really, is it? And then just choose everything's all right when the achievement goes away there, so everything's all right. And then for the very final one, everything's fine, and that'll get us the achievement as well. Almost there for completing five out of the nine endings. We get in there. Baby, so everything's fine here, and jobs are good. Well, 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 so Sam got her happy ending after all with Steph, can you believe it? Who knew Steph was uh, into women as well as men? And that's what I like about this, everyone's just into everyone. <laughs> happy days. 
No labels here. It's just if you've got a vagina or a penis, baby, I'm there. So that's it then. So sadly for us, that was a uh, bit of a... It would have been a boring one unless Steph, uh, unless Sam didn't meet Steph, but she did. So everyone's happy. I'm happy with that. So there's the almost there achievement then. And then it's just back to it once again then. Text Peter Fast, press play, and we go again. And guess what the very first option is? Yes, that's right. Nope, I'm okay. Ready to order though. And next up, once again, choose Grenadine on the Rocks with a kiss. And then for the next option again, choose I'd like to see what more than a kiss means to you. And again, it's she is working for the next one, and then Sam's life can be rough after that. So again, it's just more or less the same throughout the entirety with a couple of tweaks here and there. But for this one, we're going back to talk to my friend over there. We're not having a drink with him anymore. Not good. Not good for old Big Dant. Back in the texting with Sam then. Choose, I'm actually at the bar tonight. Don't worry, we can slurp nudes another time. Now choose just ordered, Steph asked about you. Once again then, it is damn Sam, you're important to me too. How many times have you heard that throughout all the endings? And same as the last one, I'd like to hear about your family. choose they treated you like crap but you deserve better so they treated you like crap but you deserve better something a little a little bit different this time you know mix it up a bit <laughs> When Sam asks us about the gym, this time say, ah, oh, the gym, I think that kind of sounds romantic. So we are well up for the gym this time. Go on, then. Pump that iron. Pump it now. And anyway, after this, for some reason, that gets Sam really in the mood. And she gets really horny. Because what we will be saying now is, I'll sneak in later for a smooch session. But once again, just as the horn begins, the conversation ends and we'll speak to Dante, where the next horn begins. And choose Dante. What are you doing here, boy? W without the boy. It's just Dante, what are you doing here? Uh, <laughs> Pick, I wasn't expecting to see you either. We had different needs. So we had different needs. Oh, 
we're actually going to be a good boy for once. I don't want to go down this road and risk it. I do not want to go down this road and risk it. Well done, man. We actually were good for once, which we need to be, of course, to get this ending. And hey, trust me, the, the ending works out well for us anyway, so don't you worry about that. So there we go then. So Dante's off, and now what we need to say is just talking to Dante. pick Dante is hanging around for me, which doesn't sound dodgy or suspicious, of course. Next, choose Don't Worry About It, I'ma Stay Away. Then choose, he's starring in an obscure indie play. Oof, all these different uh, conversations now are getting my motor running, I tell you. Next, choose, I don't know, his art is really weird. IDK, dot, 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 his art is really weird. Which, it is. Like I said, he's a tree or a crayon or something, isn't he? <laughs> And lastly, with Sam, choose, hmm, let's discuss it later. Just showing your disinterest in all of her daily dealings there. And next, we're going back to Rejection Corner, where Daddy Baker is waiting for us. We're back to being blunt with old uh, Jimmy here, so choose, depends on who you ask, but I think you've got the wrong person. Next, choose, excuse me? That's inappropriate. But all Jimmy's saying is he wants a slice of that fried gold. He wants a piece of this ass. But uh, apparently we're not all into that. Now choose, I think you should leave. And then, to put it nicely, you can then say, Okay, fuck off. <laughs> okay, fuck off. And then he's like, well, pfft. You've been wasting my time, kid. I, I said I didn't want that, and you still freaking tried it on. That's good persistence, anyway. But anyway, back with Sam now, and you should put, no, I don't talk to people. Next up, we'll choose healthy is a weird way to put it. But it's important to me. God, Sam. Next up then, choose, are you always worried about cuties? That's cute. You're always worried about me. <laughs> oh, that was pretty crap. Anyway, next one after that, choose I wish you'd trust me when the next option comes up. So there it is, I wished you'd trust me. Now pick try not to let worry control you. Getting close to the end, so choose, maybe we should talk. Have you thought about what our direction is? Then choose, I've been thinking that we are kind of a mess and I don't know how to handle it.
Next, choose we just need to communicate better. We just need to communicate better. This will now unlock the achievement called Cosmopolitan. That's for getting to ending number... Uh, was that? Five? Six? Sorry, six? And then we've only got two more uh, options left to pick. The first one is, are you sure you're ready for that? For some reason, it didn't unlock. So I'm just showing you that it unlocked here. It didn't unlock for me on screen. But it should unlock for you. So then choose, are you sure you're ready for that? And then for the final one, choose, if you're up to it, I'm in. Oh, I wonder what he's talking about. Giggity, giggity, goo. Giggity, giggity. Every man's dream. So it's like, well, we're not enjoying sex, so how about we get the, um, you know, the girl who owns the bar, is it? See if she wants a threesome. Ba-ding! So I think everyone's happy with that ending. Unless somehow you got some moral obligation against it or whatever, but there we go. So we had a threesome. So far, that's the best ending. Uh, <laughs> not for any particular reason, it's just nice to see it. It's nice to see them all happy, isn't it? Huh? What do you think it was for, huh? What, what, what do you take me for? <laughs> anyway, back to it then. Tech speed on to fast. We're going again. We've got three endings left to get now. And, oh, guess what we're going to say for the first option? Nope, I'm okay. Ready to order, though. In sort of alien accent or whatever I just tried. And then for the drink this time it's grenadine on the rocks in five tiny shot glasses so we're giving the kiss a miss this time we've already had our threesome with her so apparently we're just bored of it now shame next choose i need to make sure you're ready for anything so that's something a little bit different again as we uh count on towards the endings Ooh. And it's right back to the same, so choose she is working again. But this time again, we're going to mix it up a little bit. This next one, we're going to say her life can be rough. Not Sam's, her life. Well, damn, we're really uh, fine-tuning the art of speech now, aren't we? <laughs> and then for the last one, then, choose have a drink with my friend over there. Have a drink with my friend over there. So then, Big Sam's messaging us right now, so what we need to pick is, oh damn, I'm out drinking right now. Right, Sam seems to drink a lot of nudes, or eat them even, so we're choosing, don't worry, we can slurp nudes tomorrow. And then... Take some nude pictures if you want. Ah, uh, get it? Nudes, nudes. <laughs> Not funny. Anyway, next one. <laughs> next one is Lickered Up. Steph remembers you as soon as we get to it. There it is. Lickered Up. Steph remembers you. So we're going to be a bit of a jerk again now. So for this one, choose Damn Sam, you're that committed to me. Which is not a very nice thing to say, really. Now choose You Really Talk About Your Family. I'm sure she does mind, but there we go.
Now we're getting out of the doghouse by choosing Your parents acted like you were a burden, but I won't. Save the day. And this is completely different again. Choose, does breaking out the dance padding have an revolution count? I think that sounds romantic. I think that sounds pretty romantic too. But I can't dance, so I'd fall on my head and, I don't know, probably snap my spine or something. Something cute like that. For next then, get. I see what you're trying to do, but still, I'm not going to lag behind while you get buff. And now we're going to talk to Big Dante 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 again. So when C says, hey, went, once he says, hey, choose Dante, what are you doing here? And uh, we're going to be using the Michael B. Jordan expression, that hilarious insult. So for this one then, choose, it's not every night I see a Michael B. Jordan wannabe. <laughs> it's still brilliant. It's still a classic line. Next up then choose, we just drifted away. We just sort of drifted away, right there. And now we're gonna make ourselves look like um, Billy Big Balls here now, by saying, I'm something special. So I'm something special. Aren't we just the funniest little guy? And that'll be that anyway, now we're gonna be talking to Big Sam again. I don't know why everyone's big in this ending. So let's get a paranoid choose talking to my ex, which she's gonna come up with lol. What? That whole expression right there. But for the next one, we're not really interested in what he's got to say, so choose he's back because of something I don't know. So he's back because of something I don't know. I don't really care. Now choose, he's starring in some garbage show. Which you do actually get to see what he looks like in the show. And you'll, you'll agree, just trust me. Looks a bit of a, a, a moron, basically. Sorry, Big Dant. Anyway, now choose, yeah, it may be a total joke. <laughs> which it is. Now we're going to be the good guy again. So now choose, I'm sorry, let's text about it. See, our main character can be a nice guy when he wants. Even if it has been rare so far. Uh, now choose, what's going on with your work? So what's going on with your work? Now choose, I think sometimes you feel like they're out of your control. So I think sometimes you feel like they are out of your control. We're going down a completely different conversational path and it only took about seven, it only took seven endings. But we got there. We, <laughs> we're there. So now we're going back to our favorite little rejected man. Oh, by the way, too hot to handle, that was my plenty of fish profile. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I, promise that's just cheesy now choose <laughs> not in this lifetime but i'm sure i'm not interested <laughs> not in this lifetime but i'm sure i'm not interested <laughs> I mean, to be fair he's very persistent challenge accepted so now choose wow that's sweet so i mean say what you want about him but most people would go oh god i'm out here but um <laughs> persistence wins just uh, Life advice from me to you, persistence wins, okay? Not all the time, not creepily, stalkery, arrested -y kind of stuff, but... Right, now choose, I sometimes chat with folks when we text Sam again here. <laughs> now choose, 
Next pick, often I deal with creeps. Now choose, I never flirt back. I never flirt back, which as we've all seen is a complete lie. Now choose, I didn't want to hurt you. I didn't want to hurt you. It can be a little bit potentially confusing with I don't and I didn't, but, it's, but it is, I didn't want to hurt you. And now she's gonna be like, bruh, why are you still doing this? And we are gonna say, Unwinding like this is not the best sometimes. So when it comes up, there it is. Unwinding like this is not the best sometimes. Next up then, choose, are you always worried about what I'm doing? Then choose, you have to let go of yourself. So you have to let go of yourself as opposed to letting yourself go. <laughs> funny. And <laughs> for the next one, this is kind of a funny one actually. For the next one, choose, try not to let turds <laughs> come between us. Which is, that's also very handy advice. Next up then, we'll be choosing We Need to Talk. Now it's getting to the nitty gritty towards the end. And then choose I Want to Know Where We Are Going Right Now. Next up then, choose You and I Have Been Talking A Lot and We Are Kind of A Mess and I Don't Know How To Handle It. So you and I have been talking a lot and we're kind of a mess, and I don't know how to handle it. Although, to be fair, if you're in a relationship, I assume you would be talking a lot. That's the whole point of a relationship. Otherwise, it's just sort of sex, right? Anyway, now choose, we just need to communicate better. Again, we just need to communicate better, and that will unlock the Mimosa achievement, eventually. It does take a few seconds to pop up these achievements, but they do get there. So that's Mimosa, and that's ending seven unlocked. And then for the next option to choose, I don't have anyone. Which is a bit harsh when you're texting your missus right there. And you've got Dante who wants a piece of you. And Daddy Baker to the left who wants a piece of you. And even Steph. But anyway, you know, let's not dwell on that. So for the last one then, the very last one, maybe you're right. I do meet lots of people. And that's the ending complete. And we've got two left to go. So enjoy the wind down. Enjoy the summary. I mean, see, that's a bit of a tricky one, isn't it? You know, you're not at the bar, which is good, you're at home, but now you're getting closer to uh, Big Jimmy, who gets a slightly happy ending after all, for once. Um, I don't know. I don't know. That's just weird. What's... So you're not showing your feelings towards Sam, you're showing your feelings towards Jimmy now by playing chess in the kitchen and stuff. There is... Out of one of these two endings now, there is an absolutely brilliant one. I, I promise, I promise, it's not all miserable and it's not all doom and gloom, okay? But we are going again, we are going for ending eight. Tech speed fast and let's go! And guess what the first option is? Nope, I'm okay, ready to order though. Surprise! But this one's actually a surprise, we're going for a different drink this time. So this time, choose absinthe, straight up with a twist. 
which I've never had, had that, but I know that would knock me for six. So absinthe straight up with a twist, and that would balls me up. Ooh, something new again right here. Choose ha. Don't hate the simple stuff. Which oh, he's got a point, actually. Now choose she is usually too tired. Something else again. She is too tired. Pick, which is unbelievable. Now we're starting to get a bit of differentiating in this joint. Next up then choose her life can be complicated. Oof. Man, now we're perked up again. Next up then choose go and see my friend over there. So go see my friend over there. Now we can choose, I'm actually hanging out tonight. And then, don't worry, we can slurp nudes later. And then take some nudes after that. Wink, wink again. Right then, now we can choose, got my drink, Steph asked about you. Now this might be a surprise, but choose, wow, you're coming on strong there. <laughs> so, wow, you're coming on strong there. Even though, again, you've been together for a while, so that, that barrier's passed. If you've seen each other poop, that barrier's passed. <laughs> Uh, now choose, we are serious, but I just wasn't expecting that. Now the gym talks back, choose, ah, oh, the gym. I'm not a big fan of sweating around strangers. Then choose, sick burn, babe. You know I'm not gonna lag behind while you get buff. And once again then, big Dante Dante Dante's back in town, so choose, look at you, why are you here? Look at you, why are you here? Next, choose, I didn't think I'd see you either. Then choose, we had different needs, not you or I, it was we, we had different needs. And now Dante's going to get his big old slippery eel right up in your joint, if you catch my meaning. Because it uh, looks like he's got a big old slippery boy. Um, choose, I'm down to play around and risk it. So once again then, when you get all steamy and hot and horny and everyone just nips off for some reason, choose drinking with an old friend, which luckily she doesn't suspect that it's your ex who just said he wants to stick his gargantuan transformer inside of you. So now choose, hmm, we should text about it. <laughs> Now 
And then next up, choose Tell Me About the School. Now it's being back to being a jerk by choosing You Shouldn't Act Like the Victim. Jerk off! Back to our favorite little rejected child right here. Uh, Jimmy, Daddy Baker. So with this one, you choose Depends on Who You Ask. Looks like you got stood up. Next up then, choose just look at meeting people in person. Well, that's nice advice. Just look at meeting people in person. It's very nice of you. And then we get back into the um, unsettling, unsettling way of telling him to go away. So now choose wow, how inappropriate. Wow, how inappropriate. Very important there. Don't put that. It's ha wow, how inappropriate. <laughs> Uh, then tell him, I think you should leave. And then we're going once again with the very blunt, okay, fair off. Okay then, fair off. So that told him, and we don't even get no cutie this time. But for this one then, Choose, no, I don't drink with strangers. Next, we will be picking, unwinding like this is totally harmless. Next up then, choose, I'm not obsessing over cuties. You're obsessing over cuties. <laughs> I'm not obsessing over cuties. Now choose, I wish you'd trust me. Now choose, don't let that mindset come between us. We need to talk. And then choose, I want to know what we need to do to keep going forward. So, I want to know what we need to do to keep going forward. Next, choose, I've been thinking that we need to work on a few things. And now choose, we just need more time to grow. And with that, that will unlock us the Paloma achievement for basically unlocking ending number eight. So, I mean, you could technically quit right now and then, you know, just carry on. But you might as well find out what happens now, isn't it? So for this one, then choose same here. We definitely need some quality time together when the achievement pops off there. So same here. We, we definitely need some quality time together. That's nice, isn't it? Nice. It's a nice ending for once. And then for the very final one then, choose that sounds like the best possible future for us. Love it. Can't beat a nice happy ending.
So there was Dante in the play then. Sorry, I said crayon earlier on. He plays peanut butter. It did say loads of times and I missed that, but yeah. So for Dante's weird obscure show, he plays peanut butter. Well, hey, I mean, we've got to start from somewhere, haven't we? So he's in the big time now, old slippery eel Dante. <laughs> but that is it then for ending number eight. We've got one more now. It's going to take us roughly about 12 minutes, as they have done all the way through. Plus an extra couple of minutes at the end to get the glitched achievement, which shouldn't be glitched for you right now. But, you know, what I explained earlier anyway from uh, ending number three. Uh, so once again then, choose nope, I'm okay, ready to order though. And are we going to try any different drink? Uh, no, we're not. It's grenadine on the rocks in five tiny shot glasses. So the absinthe one was a one-time thing only, I'm afraid. For the next one then, choose... Um, I like to keep you on your toes. Right there. And we're basically being just a nice guy now. This is the happiest ending of the whole game. I like this one. Very, for very warm and fuzzy ending. Choose She Is Working once again. And then for the next dialogue option, it's Sam's Life Can Be Rough. So Sam's Life Can Be Rough. Say goodbye to Steph. We're not going to be seen here again after we say have a drink with that stranger. So have a drink with that stranger, and then we say goodbye to Steph, who did enjoy our steamy bar conversations. I did, Steph, but you should have gone into more detail. <laughs> no, just jokes. Anyway, so up next, we got Sam, of course, as you should know by now, and then it's, oh, damn, I'm hanging out right now. Then choose, don't worry, we can slurp nudes later. Now choose, just ordered, Steph asked about you. going back to being really nice so damn Sam you're important to me too but you are honey then click I'd like to hear about your family They treated you like crap, but I'm glad you're out of there. Such a loving boyfriending, this one. Now about the gym, choose, hmm, I think that kind of sounds romantic. I don't know how when you're pissing sweat, blood and tears everywhere, if you're gymming right that is. But anyway, it is still quite romantic. And for the next one, we will be going to... Brum, Daddy Baker over in Rejection Corner. Hello, Jimmy, what's going on? Oh yeah, sorry. We're choosing, depends on who you ask, but I think you've got the wrong person. <laughs> so that's what's going on. And then basically we're telling him to fudge off again. Excuse me, that's inappropriate. So that's what we need to pick here. And then, I know you're into me and that's very nice and all, but we should choose, I think you should leave. And then once again, for the next one, we're going all blunt straight out. Okay, fuck off. Yes, we are going with, okay, fuck off. And then Daddy Bake here is no longer. This is the last time we see him, so... We just told him to fuck off, so happy days. 
Now then, we're back with Sam. And obviously she asked that, and we say, yeah, I chat with folks. Now choose, sometimes I deal with creeps. Don't we all? And if you don't, then chances are you're the creep. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But now choose, I always ignore it. Now we've got just a little bit more arguing to do here. And for the next one, choose being at the bar is important to me. And then click, you shouldn't be worried about what I'm doing. Then for the next one, choose, you should just trust us. You should just trust us. Now choose, don't let that mindset come between us. And once again, be a nice guy, we're going to choose, of course, we should talk now. Nice. Now be a real nice guy and say, tell me about your work. And I suppose if you do get a little bit bored, you don't have to look. You can just uh, put your phone away with, <laughs> without trying to look all interested. Which obviously I don't do because I'm a very good listener. Uh, anyway, for the next one, choose, you shouldn't feel like it's your fault. <laughs> and if you were wondering where the hell Dante went, here he is. So choose Dante, what are you doing here? And then basically we're just sort of not nobbing him off. I wasn't expecting to see you either, will be our next response. I wasn't expecting to see you either. And by the way, when I meant we're going to knob him off, I didn't mean, like, touch his knob and that. I just meant, you know, we're going to get rid of him. So now choose we just sort of drifted away. <laughs> yeah, my words get confusing sometimes. And then for the next one, choose Sam is something special. So this is, you just know this is a goddamn good ending when we're being nice to Sam for a change. <laughs> so back to Sam then, that was very pleasant, but we will choose talking to an old friend now. Now pick, he's not really something I think about often. Now choose, do you think you should feel bad about that experience? So do you think you should feel bad about that experience? So as soon as we get to this bit, there it is. How did you react to that? But anyway, now pick. It must be hard to deal with that.
Now choose maybe we should talk. Next, pick have you thought about how the relationship is doing? And then pick, I've been thinking that today's been a little weird, but overall, I'm happy. So I've been thinking that today's been a little weird, but overall, I am happy. And then with that, with the next dialogue option, then we need to choose, we just need to communicate better. We just need to communi communicate better, and that will give us the old-fashioned achievement for unlocking the ninth and final ending of the game. And here's the legendary cheesy lines, I hope you know, being your partner is a gift. Which is really cute, a little bit gay, but really, really cute in the process. No, it is very nice, after all the crap we've gone through these endings. And then choose, I'd love to help us shine bright. Also extremely cheesy, but hey, you know, some women and a lot of men like that as well. And then for the very final one then, choose together forever. Well, you haven't got a choice. Together forever, cute as hell, loves it. Well, isn't that just lovely? Through couples therapy, and now they're probably all pregnant and married and stuff, I expect. That's, that's what happens when you're in love, right? Right? Anyway, now we can just move on then. So, if you obviously followed the, uh, my guide, which obviously you have if you're still here, you are still getting two achievements that you are needing to get, which we're going to be doing right now. So then, these were the two achievements that were glitched, the Was I Not Good Enough achievement, but we are actually going to get that right now. There was an update, so anyone who's playing it from now will absolutely get it. Again, sadly, I couldn't incorporate it, I couldn't edit it into this sort of third ending or anything, so I've had to basically leave it until the very end. Um, well, you know, you, you all get it anyway, so everybody happy, huh? So anyway, once you do play again and start a new game, you can talk to the woman as much as you want, but it's Dante which is the important bit. So as soon as we start talking to Dante, um, he'll obviously speak this, so then say, Dante, what are you doing back in town? That's the very first bit. And he'll obviously tell you the stuff which he has been telling you throughout the entire nine endings. That uh, damn, your tastes are weird. Now, if you remember from the third ending before, it automatically went into uh, your friends. I bet your friends didn't see that coming. But make sure to pick, I bet your family didn't see that coming. Very important now. So, well done to everyone there who managed to get this achievement sorted. But it is, I bet your family didn't see that coming. Uh, you can pick what you want here now because it really doesn't matter. As soon as you start texting Sam again, that is when the achievement will unlock. So, and again, sadly I couldn't edit it into the third one because it would have messed up the entire sort of third ending for you. But I thought I'd just leave it till now, which is fine anyway. Uh, pick again what you want. So, literally the only important thing is the conversation with Dante then. Anything else is absolutely fine. But that is now that, guys and gals. So thank you again so, so much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed the game. I hope this guide has helped as well. Uh, you know, if it has helped, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, and subscribe for plenty more 100% guides. Catch me on all my social medias. You've got uh, Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, all the links 
are below. Instagram, of course, all the links are provided below. Also, I just want to give a big, massive, huge shout out to TimG84 for the continued support on Patreon. I extremely and very much appreciate that. You're an absolute legend, mate. Thank you very much. So that is that then. So two hours, not bad. Thank you again to TimG84. Thank you again for everyone watching the video. I shall see you in the next one. Big love.